Good morning and welcome to our service this morning. Um, I was hoping that I could invite the folks downstairs to come upstairs and fill in these empty seats, but I understand it's more comfortable for some with uh, young children to be uh, in the lower auditorium. So um, we'll try and sing loudly so that they can hear us. I uh, was listening to Christian radio this week and I heard a what I felt was an interesting definition of a church. And I thought that if we ever decided to change the, the uh, banner on the outside of the church that says to know Christ and make him known, that this might be a, an acceptable alternative. But it's something to think about anyway. And a church, uh, they say, is ordinary people being changed by an extraordinary God. And I just was somehow struck by that and thinking about how God is at work in all of our lives um, and as we, as we worship and fellowship together. Let's ask his blessing on our time together now and uh, then we'll look at some announcements. Our Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather together and worship in your name. We thank you for the freedom that we enjoy that allows us to do that. Father, we pray that we wouldn't uh, waste this opportunity that we've been given, but that we would come with hearts prepared to hear from you and ready to be changed by the power of your word. Just go with us now into this service, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. So let's take a look at the announcements. I'm going to give you a couple that aren't on the um, uh, list right up front. It's my first opportunity this month to remind you that October is, in fact, Pastor Appreciation Month. And um, you have a week uh, left to show appreciation to, to our pastor. We thank him for his uh, dedicated um, work and his commitment to the uh, sound proclamation of the Word of God. Uh, also, there's... Um, uh, a ladies Bible study at our house on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. It's not an exclu exclusive event. All, uh, I guess you have to be a lady. All ladies are welcome. And um, uh, there's, there's a study ongoing in the, in the book of Romans. Uh, so that's Tuesday at 7. And of course, our regular Wednesday night Bible study here at the church at 730 we are going to have a, a meeting to consider uh, or to glean some information about Christian schools happening here on Friday, November the 5th. So not this upcoming Friday, but the following Friday uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, here at the church on Friday, November the 5th. And then here's the item that, of course, is very dear to my heart. The stars have arrived. Um, I, I have to be a little bit funny about this because I know that they have been reduced in size this year. So you have to, they've also been reduced in the area that you have to write your name and your location. Uh, so I was actually contemplating because I do multiples of these things. I was actually contemplating getting a stamp prepared to make my life just a little bit easier because it appears that I'm going to have to actually probably ask my wife to write in very, very fine print to get this all fitted in. But uh, they, uh, they're here. We have set ourselves a goal of, or at least um, Chris has been good enough to obtain 200 of these stars. So they're available there on the table at the back. Um, please um, participate, pick them up and uh, fill out your name and, and submit them before November the 14th or, or on that Sunday uh, with a uh, accompanying $35 um, contribution. They will be uh, collected and sent to Slavic Gospel Association for um, forwarding to Pastor Petrash in Russia for his church to go to his community with the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to help children in their celebration of Christmas and a true understanding. They get a copy of a children's Bible and uh, gifts and, and just to know that um, other Christians around the world are just loving on them. So there they are. Uh, let's see if we can reach this very ambitious goal of 200 stars for 2021. 
I'm going to invite you now to take your hymn books, please, and turn to hymn number 197. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are we, are we doing a video? Is it the same video? It might be. It, it might be? Um, let's, let's pass for this week, but we'll, we'll, we're going to come back to that video again. But we will turn these off for the, uh, no, we will leave them on, sorry. Because we're not doing overheads today. Uh, sorry, Dan. Uh, I didn't check with him before the service. Let's, let's turn to number 197, and we'll stand to sing, please. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above Echoes of mercy, whispers of love This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Thank you, you may be seated. Let's turn now to number 353. 353. are filled with sorrow and care, hearts are lonely and drear, burdens are lifted at Calvary, Jesus is very near, burdens are lifted at Calvary, 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 burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Cast your care on Jesus today. Leave your worry and fear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Calvary. Calvary, burdens are lifted at Calvary, Jesus is very near. Troubled soul, the Savior can see, 
every heartache and tear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary, Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary, Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary, Jesus is very near. Thank you for that good singing. I was reminded the author of that hymn is uh, evangelist John Moore. Uh, he was here. Uh, preaching a, a week of even, evangelical, uh, or ev evangelistic, I should say, ser uh, sermons um, way back about 35 years ago now. And we enjoyed a good time of fellowship with him then. Um, just amazing memories and we'll get to meet him again in glory. I'm going to invite you to take your Bibles now, please, and turn to Psalm 3. Now, I don't know how your Bible is captioned, but mine suggests that this is a psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, his son. Uh, this is a, a, a psalm of appealing to God for help, something that uh, we can all use at times. Psalm 3. O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. I laid down and slept. I woke again, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For you strike all my enemies on the cheek, you break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be on your people. May God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Let's go now to a time of congregational prayer. Our Father, we thank you that the way has been opened for us to enter into your presence through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you uh, that you have promised to hear and to respond to our uh, pleas for your help. Father, we come to you as a needy people. We come to you as a thankful people for all of you, all the blessings that we have experienced at your hand. Father, we pray for the ongoing work of our church here. Thanking you for the uh, ministry of, of Curtis and Brooke among us. Thanking you for our elders as they continue to serve faithfully and our deacons. Just asking that you would continue to grant great wisdom in the leadership of the affairs of this church. Father, we want to pray for those who have been laid aside. We think particularly of, of Don this morning. Again, we ask that you would um, heal him. If it's your will, Father, we pray for wisdom for those who are ministering to him. We pray for the results of this biopsy that took place on Thursday and just ask that the issues may be identified and that a plan of, of treatment may be developed. Father, we pray for others suffering with chronic um, health conditions. We uh, ask for your blessing upon Alice, uh, Fred and Norma, Gord Bilo, Nancy, we just pray for each one of those, asking for your sustaining grace to uphold them uh, at, through these, these chronic uh, health conditions. Father, you know our hearts. You know our concerns. Father, we just ask that you would suit a blessing to each need among us this morning, that uh, you know what you intend to accomplish through these experiences. And Father, we just pray that your will would be done. Father, we 
thank you for the opportunities that you've given us to participate in other uh, ministries around the world. And we pray for our missionaries at this time. We begin with those close to us. We think of Mark and April laboring faithfully there in King Kirkland and ask that you would continue to provide and, and bless them, provide opportunities for ministry. Father, these are, are challenging times and we just pray that, that you would continue to encourage their hearts. Pray again for Laura down in Napanee, for Deb and Rob uh, in Montreal, uh, for Tim and Emma in, in uh, Campbellville and, and all those across the country laboring faithfully under the auspices of the Faith Mission. Father, we think too of, of Chris and Sarah Middleton uh, trying to um, establish a, a beachhead in the north end of Montreal. Uh, Father, we, we know that the, the French-Canadian um, field is a difficult, um, resistant field to the gospel, but we just pray that, that you would grant them fruit for their labor and that you would continue to encourage them in, in the work. And we pray too for Rob and Catherine in, in Tokyo, just asking that you would um, continue to bless them as they reach out to their friends and neighbors and uh, present the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, we are again excited to be part of this Emmanuel's Child program as we uh, bring our, our stars to be presented to, to Pastor Petrash through the Slavic Gospel Association. We just pray that this would be a, a big encouragement to him and his church as they're given the opportunity to provide um, Christmas gifts and the good news of the gospel to children in their community. Father, may these stars um, produce fruit. May they be lights into homes. And may the, the children's Bibles uh, that accompany the, the gifts, may they make a clear presentation of the gospel and may souls be won to Christ. We hear uh, reports of, of those who have been impacted by the stars in the past, and we pray that this year's um, effort will produce fruit. Father, we think of uh, other missionaries. We think of Mike and Beth training those in, in Durham. Uh, and thank, thank you for their recent visit with them. Pray for Chris and Megan as they've uh, gone to Indonesia to serve you, to uh, learn a new culture, learn a new language, all with the intent of bringing the good news to those who have never heard your name. Father, we again remember Philip and Starlene in Nairobi, Kenya, thanking you for their faithfulness and their, their testimony over many years and praying that you will just uh, bless them as they continue to serve you in their, um, in their later years of their life, asking your, uh, for health and strength for them and pray to uh, that you would grant them fruit for their labor. Father, we think of the important ministry that, that Colin and Kathleen have undertaken in Cambodia and just pray that, that you would continue to bless and provide for them as they seek to assist uh, missionaries in the um, construction of, of um, projects and, and just seek to represent their saviors as good ambassadors for him. Father, we just pray that you would continue with us through the remainder of this service this morning. We pray you will bless in the, the children's ministry downstairs. Father, we ask that while, they're, while they are young and their hearts are tender, that these children will respond to the presentation of the gospel and that they would turn their lives and, over to and trust Christ as Lord and Savior. Father, we pray your blessing upon Curtis as he comes to minister your word. Father, may you uh, empower by your Holy Spirit the message that you have given him this morning. And may you prepare our hearts to hear from you today. We ask all of this in the name of our great Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to dismiss the children now for their time in Children's Church. So those three to eight can head downstairs. And uh, I know there's an exciting lesson prepared for them there. 
and we'll ask Curtis to come, come now, please. <laughs> 